What we have learned is that the IRS, in fact, has been using AI to access bank accounts of American citizens without any kind of a search warrant or even without any specific uh, claim that they have committed a crime. So this was something that was uh, discovered by, uh, by an undercover journalist, and what they found is that the IRS has claimed that they have access to every single person's bank account. This person also indicated that they've been working with the Department of Justice and that they have absolutely no problem whatsoever going after the little guy to make sure that they are paying their taxes. Mm. This is such a blatant violation of the Fourth Amendment that we have, Jim Jordan and I, sent a letter to the IRS demanding that they provide additional information about what they are doing with AI and what they are doing to protect the civil rights of American citizens. So, Congresswoman, what's the end game here? Because at the end of the day, you can't put the AI genie back in the bottle, and it's so easy, easy rather, to use these technologies um, in the way that you're suspecting the IRS is. How do you protect American citizens and our constitutional rights? Well, one of the things is we need a new administration in November because this administration has been absolutely lawless in terms of its surveillance of, of us, of members of Congress, of local officials, of people who are protesters, of voters. This, this administration has completely ignored the Bill of Rights, whether it's the First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment. They have weaponized the government against us. So one of the things we...